So this is a braid off. <laughs> a braid off. <coughs> I don't think I should do this because I sound so sick. Can I just let you talk? <clears throat> okay, ready? Here, come Mackenzie. Hi guys, I'm Jess. I'm Mackenzie. So we figured since there's a lot of requests for a braiding tutorial, we would do a two for one. So we're calling this our first EDI braid off. I'm braiding Benji. Benji's one of my favorites. He's a three-year-old here, and he's just super fun, super easy to ride. That's Benji. I will be braiding Mozart. Mozart is a four-year-old by Rock, Rocky Lee. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. forgot? <laughs> is, what is he, Rocky Lee Garaldi? <laughs> Rocky Lee Sorrento Gribaldi. Yeah, Rocky Lee Sorrento Gribaldi. Ooh, I got makeup on him. Oopsie. You okay? <coughs> Should I start again? No, that's good. <laughs> All right, you ready? So yeah. why don't you talk to them about what you'll be using? I see that you stole my brush, but I'll let you have it. You can have a <laughs> handicap. Um, why don't you tell them what tools you're using? I'll tell them what tools I'm using. And okay. We'll go for it. So I use this brush to part out the hair, which she stole from me, by the way. <laughs> That's my. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm gonna let her have it. <clears throat> and then also this spot-on braiding wax, which I use for Benji, and then um, just regular black rubber bands. And then I use this type of yarn. This type of yarn for when I like thread the braid through and then just a regular like braiding needle. Perfect. All right, so I will be using, I can't use my brush, my nice one, because Mackenzie stole it. So I will be using this not so nice one, but it's okay, <laughs> they'll still be great. Quick braid. I like to use this type of string, this like waxy string. I get it on Amazon for like a dollar. And then braiding needle. You can also Same get thing. these on Amazon. Just let them, let the best woman win. Oh, no. <laughs> so you and I will be the judges of who will be winning this competition. So if you want to vote, you have to vote down in the comments, but I would wait until we see the, the braids for sure. So... Are you guys nervous? Yes. The suspense? I was born ready. <laughs> so I will start by, you brush the mane. And actually, the, if the mane's a little bit dirty, which his is not, it braids nicer, but I use a little bit of quick braid just all around. It doesn't, horses don't love the spray in their face, but it doesn't mind it too bad. I have a handicap here because he's missing a little piece of <laughs> mane. So I'm blaming Mackenzie for taking the horse with the full mane. <laughs> I like to have this already cut into a long string and that way I'm ready to rock and roll. I used to have a little braiding, like fanny pack, I would call it, but my son stole it, so I don't know where it is, but it's really convenient because it just goes on here and so you have all your tools. So I will just be kind of holding on to this. Hopefully it doesn't poke me. This and away we go. Oh, Mackenzie's way ahead. If, it's, if this is a race, Mackenzie's gonna <laughs> it's win. It's not a race. <laughs> remember the tortoise and the hare? Yeah. What, I don't remember that. Joseph missed out on not just childhood, but just like life stories in general. Okay, so when I'm braiding, I like to take the comb and part it where I'd want it and then go a little, like a few inches over and then make a really straight line with your comb and then you can just use it as like a clip to get the other hair out of the way. And then I like a little bit bigger braids. So you're gonna split it into three sections. I'm failing right now. And then I like to braid it a little bit looser at the top and then kind of like push it up to where I'll want the braid to how I will want it to look when I thread it through. And I start a little bit looser at the top and then braid tight down at the bottom. And at the end, you just put your rubber band and then make a little loop at the bottom so that when you put the braid up, that the hair is tucked away. All right, did you already go over your how to braid it down thing? 
but I'm also waiting for my... Wait, so this is similar. You guys are the same. Are you no, guys sure you're not, not the same? No, not the same. So I actually like to use Aquanet to fix the hair up, but I don't know where it is. So we wanted to do this braiding tutorial and then we're missing half the equipment, so. All right, so what I do is I just kind of use my fingers, like a little bit, I like to do a little bit more than a hand. You can make them as thick or as thin as you want. If you do have Aquanet or any of those hairsprays, the cheaper the better. You pull the hair up like this, you spray here, Shh, I don't have any right now. And then you braid and similar to Mackenzie, you kind of lose it, leave this top part loose and then you start making it tighter as you go. So as I get to the end of the braid, I like to do a couple loops and then I tighten it with the end part up so that you kind of hide that loose hair, just like that. And then from there comes the good part. So I take the needle, you go through like the little button part and through the center of the braid and go up and you kind of roll it however you want it. You can make it tighter or looser and just go back through a few times. And because this thread is a little bit waxy, it kind of makes it tight on its own. Once it feels like pretty secure, you can do one or two more. And then I like to make sure that you finish with the needle on this side so that you don't see it. You take the scissors. There's no need to do anything other than just cut it. And voila. If you do have Aquanet, which we forgot today, then I like to kind of puff it up, spray it, and kind of hold it there. I'll keep doing the rest of them, and we'll see how they look. Okay, at the end of your string, you're gonna wanna make a little tiny knot, and then you're going to push the needle up through the back of the braid, and then back through the top, make it a little bit tight, then you're gonna push it through the back of the braid like that. Push it up so you hide the end of the braid. And then this part, you can kind of shape it how you want. And then hide the extra hairs and then just keep weaving through about like four or five times until you feel it's like tight and secure enough. Because in these braids, you don't have to tie any knots or anything. And then once you pull it back through the front, then you cut it. And then that's your braid. Ooh, this is some fierce competition. I'm not fierce, I'm pretty sure Mackenzie whooped my ass. <laughs> <laughs> Done. Mackenzie wins. For speed. For speed. <laughs> and for looks. <clears throat> Mackenzie wins for speed. The Did primary category. Through? Yeah. Should we do the shake test where we like really shake their manes and see which ones no, come out we'll first? we'll do the photo test and whoever looks prettier wins. <laughs> Should we leave them in for like three days and see who's <laughs> rub, <laughs> who's rub and out when first? All their hair falls off. Exactly. The torch. <laughs> was the torch ever yours? I thought it was mine. Well, you, I didn't really have much of a competition because you can't braid. <laughs> so now I actually have like genuine competition. But healthy, healthy competition is good. I'll take it. Okay, so this is a break for story time. So one time I had a client come when Jess was out of town and this was before Mackenzie's era. <laughs> and uh, I tried to braid. Oh my gosh. And I like, I was like, it can't be that hard. So I like folded them over and they looked like so bad that then I was like panicking because the client was coming in like 30 minutes. 
and the braids were like poking out like this, just like the worst, ugliest things I've ever seen. And I didn't know what to do, whether I like unbraid them or just leave them. So I ended up leaving them, but I was really embarrassed because the clients came and like, it was seriously the ugliest braids I've ever seen in my life. But that was pretty much like the first or second time I'd ever braided a horse. And the last. And the last. So now if I'm the sole person, uh, when a client comes, I just leave them unbraided and tell them sorry. Joseph, do you just try to use your pretty face? Well, I can't do that anymore because my nose is busted. That's true. Tell, pretty, tell me. I'm pretty happy with my braids, especially considering I didn't have all my equipment because it was stolen. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's mine. So this is the end product of my braiding today. I think they look pretty good, don't you? The end product. Well, I can't see because it's hard to see on this camera. Oh, they look pretty good. And why should people vote for you again? I don't even know, because I don't I wouldn't vote for me either because Mackenzie's <laughs> braids were better, so <laughs> Okay, now to the other Why should why people I vote for you? <laughs> um people should vote for me because I did them quicker and, <laughs> <laughs> and they look fabulous. <laughs> look at that. It's a little bit it doesn't really count though because it's a bay, so it's easier to see them. I don't know. <laughs> exactly. From a photography perspective, on that horse, you can't even see the braids, so they're like, because they blend in with the color of the body. On this horse, at least you can see the braids. So next tutorial, we have to have all of our equipment, and we get to each do a stallion. That way, it's black on black. Yeah. By the way, I choose Guapo. <laughs> <laughs> because Bodo's mane is like meh. Yeah, and he's so much taller and harder to break. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so should we do pictures and see what we get? Yep. I guess we'll get some pictures so that you guys can have the final deciding factors.